welcome back to my channel let's jump straight into the reading and see what you're not aware of at the moment um any information that you need to book a personal reading will be listed in the description so just check there you guys have about five more days until the 50 percent off sale is done for our third year anniversary here on the platform uh so like i said that information will be below i also have a really awesome pick a card up on my mystical moments page uh, it's a pick a card for the full moon in Virgo. So if you want to know how the full moon in Virgo is going to affect you personally, check that out. And let's go ahead and get into the cards. I'm going to flip the camera like I always do so you guys can see what we're working with and enjoy. Libras, let's jump in. I'm going to use my old faithful Rider Waite and then I'm going to use this deck as well. I forgot the name so we can see what you're not aware of currently. So let's jump in. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements, what are they currently not aware of? All right, first card we have is the Strength card in reverse. So somebody's letting their ego get out of control in the way that they're handling things. So this could be specifically a Leo, doesn't have to be, but somebody's ego is taking control of their, their actions and their decision making process and all of that. Okay, what you're not aware of is someone's ego was more important than the, to them, excuse me, than keeping the personal relationship you guys have intact okay somebody is very egotistical and that could be why it's hard for you to get anything going with this individual because they're thinking about what's best for them they're thinking about how their needs could be met and not necessarily taking in consideration of yours also this person like you have somebody who's they feel like they're too good to admit that they're wrong or too good to admit that they messed up. Even though they want to talk to you, even though they want to interact with you, they can't because then that would come with them having to acknowledge how they may have wronged you, how they may have not taken you in consideration, all of that. I'm also hearing somebody's confidence level is really low and that's why they could act as if they're not as interested or not as emotionally available. My people who are dating somebody who's newer. Okay, we got the King of Wands. Another card speaking about fire energy. We got the Magician card that fell as well. Somebody here is a super duper player with the King of Wands and the Magician card in reverse. Somebody and the, and the Strength card right next to it. Somebody, they're a player because of the fact that their ego tells them that's what they have to do to protect themselves. Point blank period. This person, they play mind games. They act as if they're so in control and uh, as if they're the prize because in the past they were basically told from their interactions with other people that they weren't the prize. So now they feel like they have to protect themselves by going into player mode. So that could be why this person is not committing for my people who are wondering like what's going on with that. Some of you guys may have a family member that could be under like witchcraft in some sense or like somebody around you you could be noticing that maybe they're acting a little bit off mm. Libra Sun Moon Rising and Venus placements what are they currently not aware of a lot of fire energy in these cards we got the sun card the strength card and we got the king of wands libras that's a lot of fire energy that's a lot of leo energy a lot of leo energy but certain things that you're not aware of currently are actually going to be revealed 
over time. So a lot of the things I'm saying to you um, are either just moments of like you being like, oh, I understand now why certain things are happening or even things that, like I said, will soon be revealed in its own time. But there's going to be certain things revealed. You're going to be able to really see things from a wide view. The person you may have kids with, this person, uh, they could feel like, in a sense, you're a little bit their property. And when I say that, they could feel like they could have access to you at any point they want to. It could be in a very controlling nature, I will be honest. There also may be some sort of windfall of money that comes in. This could be like you getting more money back in your taxes than you expected. Or like you getting a raise and you didn't expect to get like a whole $3 raise or something. Like there's going to be some sort of good news surrounding money that may make you really happy. That may kind of come out of the blue. Ooh, somebody who was giving you the cold shoulder, somebody who was acting like they were too good to reply when you texted them, act like they were too good to give you the time of day. It could be a reverse situation during this time frame where they're trying to hit you up, they're trying to get in contact with you now. After realizing the people they may have been entertaining were not worth it. This is you just wanting balance. This is them just giving all their time and attention to anybody who, who will take it. Some of you guys may need to cut a friends with benefits situation off. This person could literally just see you as like somebody to engage with on that level. And this person could be really not worth giving that that to and i'm gonna just leave that at that um but libras what are they currently not aware of libra sun moon rising and venus placements what are they currently not aware of spirituality um a lot of you When it comes to your spiritual journey, the things that you're learning, the things that you're finding yourself naturally interested in, you are naturally going to stumble across these things. And it's a part of your path in some way. It's a part of helping you evolve in your personal path. Spirituality may be the breakthrough for a lot of you guys to get past childhood trauma. You know, trauma in, in many forms. But your spiritual beliefs is what's pulling you out of, of dark places in a subconscious way. In a healing your spirit kind of way. Yeah, a lot of you may not be aware of it or maybe you are. Even though you've made so much personal progress on your spiritual journey, you still have a lot more work to go. And it's also a situation where you never complete your spiritual journey. Like people think that healing is just, a, okay, I'm going to go into a healing process for five months. No, healing is a constant thing because there's always going to be traumas us humans experience as we just live. You know, we experience trauma on a day to day in different forms and us being able to heal ourselves is essential so that we can keep moving and not let those traumas almost make us in a way where we're, we're fearful one more card health and i was kind of seeing that about health as well you guys really do need to take care of your mental health in terms of it stemming or let me let me rephrase that taking care of your mental health is what's going to help you reshape the basis of your experience because it starts with the mental health of your mind because that's that's a law 
the all is mental law or I think it's mentalism anyways um all is mental it starts from the mind our consciousness and if your consciousness is tainted with trauma with negativity um certain things that basically taint your ability to produce then you're going to see things manifest from that that aren't positive so I'm going to leave it right there. I hope that you found this to be helpful. If you did, definitely thumbs this video up and subscribe so that you never miss a beat. And I will see you later, Libras.